I love this next story, and I hope you're listening closely. Born in Malamulele, it's a remote village in Limpopo. Two childhood friends with just a 700 rand computer built Nova. It's a free e-learning app that is now empowering thousands across the African continent. From coding through power cuts to teaching AI in rural classrooms, Marvel Shibambu and Malungelo Matosi, Matonzi are proving that innovation knows no boundaries. And for more on this incredible story, we're joined by Marvel, who's a co-founder of Nova, to talk about the journey and mission to provide quality education across the African continent. As a start, just good morning. So happy to talk to you. Very proud of your story. It has been quite a journey, sharing with the viewers there that 700 Rand computer to 50,000 downloads. What has kept you going during what would have been a very dark and uncertain times during the building process? Um, firstly, thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. We really appreciate this. In terms of what kept us going, we just believe so much that what we were doing matters. You know, like uh, having to experience the inequality by ourselves, we really knew exactly what we were trying to solve. And no matter how challenging it was, we were so determined and we knew exactly that what we are doing matters and there was nothing that's going to stop us from that. So n tell us a bit more about Nova itself. It offers lessons on cutting edge topics like AI and quantum computing. How do you ensure that this important uh, content is accessible and also relevant to learners in rural areas, particularly where there is limited tech exposure? Um, so, so, so like uh, we're having these amazing uh, features which enables learners to download the lessons and they can actually be able to watch them offline. So this week I'm actually at home. The internet connection is terrible. I was not even sure if I'm going to make it to this call. So this just highlights to me again the importance of ensuring that the platform is able to work offline as well. And this is something that we're trying to make happen to just make sure that even if you have no internet connection, you would still be able to watch the lessons offline. So you and your co-founder um, come from Gumbani village. How has the background that you come from shaped the vision and the values behind Nova? Um, in most of the times when big uh, when big companies actually come in and they want to solve the educational problem, I assume that they solve the problem in the respect of they have read about the problem from uh, from the newspapers, they have read about the problem from stats, they have read about the problem from from the internet. With us, it was something that we have experienced personally. And I believe that's what makes Nova so special is because we were not trying to read the stats of what is the problem. We experienced the problem ourselves. So the background of where we're coming from is the true motivation to why we started what we have started. Uh, and that's so interesting because a lot of successful founder stories come from solving a problem where you are, something that you understand intrinsically, and then building something that meets the, you know, the need or the challenge of the moment. You know what's so incredible is that you've built something that we are told can rival global e-learning platforms with minimal resources. What does it say to you about Africa's potential when it comes to tech innovation, Marvel? You know what, like African or rather South Africans in, 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 in the story, we are so talented. And I can assure you of that. I know a lot of people that have a lot of, they're just so intelligent, right? And um, I believe that what our story does, it just like inspire even more people to say, you know what, I, I don't have to waste my intelligence, right? There's a lot of uh, intelligent people that I know that have the potential of doing most of the things that I would never imagine of doing. So what our story just, what our story does, it just highlights the power that Africa has. We have so much to offer. We don't have to cry about not having resources or infrastructure. The little things that we have, it, we should use it. And it, it will actually amount to something. And I promise you that our story, it's going to inspire a generation. There's a lot of people that are going to come up out of the story and showcase their potential. Because personally, I already know a lot of people with a lot of talent. 
And I'm very, very sure right now they're going to come out of the shell and they're going to work as hard to just bring their innovation out as well. You know, I'm not going to lie, uh, Marvel. I've been doing this uh, a long, long time. It's not too much that moves me uh, to tears even. But just hearing you speak, hearing your motivation, uh, your chutzpah, all of the things that you uh, and your co-founder have managed to have managed to do, this is you and Malungelo, really just creates an emotional moment for me. So I'm going to hold it together for the rest of our interview. There's no revenue stream, um, you know, and, and also rising operational costs, uh, typically amongst founder stories across the African continent. So sustainability becomes a real challenge. Um, and as much as we love what we are hearing and, and want to see you keep going, what is the plan to keep Nova running, growing and scaling? Um, one thing I love about this country is um, the support that we have for one another, not just in terms of human level, but also in terms of companies. I realize that South African companies really want to see this country moving forward. And in terms of answering your question, that's where incredible companies just as Liberty, Standard Bank and IBM actually came in. Um, we did not want any learner to pay cent to have access to high quality education. And Liberty was having the same vision as ours and they would be assisting us finance and fund the entire project. While else, uh, platforms like IBM, they'll be helping us with development and also scaling Nova to become a successful business. Uh, that's incredible. Again, as you say, you know, uh, it's, it's this collaborative um, effort that delivers uh, things that can be a formidable challenge uh, and innovation in particularly this space. You know, we know the stats, right? By 2030, 42% of the world's youth will be living on the African continent. How do you see Nova playing a role in shaping the next generation of African leaders and problem solvers? Um, th that's a very good question, and that is exactly why Nova was created. You see, like, uh, skills is very important. You know, like, uh, as much as we want to do a lot of things, skills and information, it is really important. So what Nova would be doing is uh, we would be working with different companies, with different brands, with different people to just share as much skill as possible to what they know so that we can actually shape the minds of, you know, a lot of African people. So what we'd be starting to do starting from next year would be teaching a lot in AI, would be teaching a lot in quantum computing, and not just all those tech stuff. We'd also be teaching people business. Let's say that you are staying on a rural environment. What can you do to, to get your business running? You know, because like, um, even if when we speak about unemployment and all these other things, what Nova can do is we can teach you to run your business as an independent where you are. So having 40% of youth living in Africa what that does to Nova, it gives us a lot of people with different skills that are going to be equipped within our platform. And I feel like Nova actually steps in quite well because within the story of the platform itself, it just tells you that, hey, you are in Africa, you might not have as much resources, but the platform that you are landing on also has the same background as you. So you can also do it. I love that. And it's just uh, the Friday motivation um, that we need. Marvel Shibambu, I know that you would have heard this many times in your life. The marvelous Marvel Shibambu. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning. Um, and I'm sure that your community as well, incredibly, incredibly proud of this accomplishment today. Marvel Shibambu Malungelo Matonsi, the co-founders of Nova.